This week, a family filed a federal lawsuit against Henderson ISD. The family claims the school district ignored their complaints that their child was being bullied. They also claim that the district retaliated against the mother. KTK's Ashlyn Anderson leads us off tonight. Ashlyn. Brittany Everett says her child, who will not be named, has a history of mental illness. A lawsuit filed in a federal court against Henderson ISD claims classmates took advantage of that. You know, she was tired of being made fun of. The parents believe the bullying started in the spring of 2021 during their daughter's time in middle school. Mom and dad complained to school district officials in the hope to just calm things down. The family says school officials were always kept informed and received several doctor's notes outlining the child's condition and why she should receive dedicated treatment. They say the district still did nothing. She was told to go kill herself. You know, why don't she just go kill herself? Um, and to our face, the school told us that's not bullying, but that's mean spirited. And where we tried to, to um, make them understand, well, I mean, it is a little bit different with our kid because she does have those issues. In July of 2022, the back and forth between the parents and the school reached the Texas Education Agency. A hearing was conducted to determine if the child should receive any type of special education. In the end, the officer declined the request. In that process, we would have a dialogue with the school to just, you know, sit and talk and reason and say, listen, this kid was being bullied and harassed. What are we going to do about it? and they chose rather to protect the bully. The decision has led to the ongoing federal civil lawsuit against the Henderson School District, alleging complaints were voiced but not heard. We expect our uh, educators to protect the children from the bullying and harassment. And then when they don't, it, ain't, it actually makes the child more susceptible to the bullying and harassment because the bullies figure they can get away with it. In a statement, Henderson ISD told us they do not comment on any litigation, adding in part, we will always encourage families to be advocates for their children. You have to keep pushing because, you know, once they don't want to take accountability and change things, well, then it's your child that ends up suffering in the end of it. The lawsuit also alleges retaliation against Everett. She cleaned houses for a number of district employees for many years and says she's lost seven clients after standing up for her child. Casey. Ashley, now laying out the groundwork of this lawsuit, what does the family say they want to achieve by taking legal action like this? Casey, the lawsuit states that they want reimbursements of damages under the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, the Americans with Disability Act, and for the money the mother lost in her business. Most importantly, they tell us they don't want this to happen to anyone else's child. In studio, Ashlyn Anderson, K2K News. Ashlyn, thank you.